Not that I want to be this late for the keep back with a look at this week's mailbag. Next week, I am not expecting a whole lot. Maybe one or two things. <laughs> we'll see. And then after that, we'll have to see. I did get a few things this week. First of all, I got a couple of games here. First one is called Sloop, which is apparently a type of sailboat, hence the uh, water theme. Sloop is basically a version of the game Casino by the United States, by the, uh, not the United States Plank Company, the U.S. Game System, and Mike Fitzgerald, who's done other games like Diamonds and Full Diamonds and some others, which are trick-taking games. And this came out in 2012, so it's not new, but it's new to me. It's kind of similar to Scopa as well, if you're wondering. It's a, just a classic game, I guess. And then the other one is called Sky Towers, which is by X First Games, as it says in the box, and Charles Ward. And this is a little game where you are playing cards and building towers, trying to get a total of 21 as well, if I recall correctly. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's just pretty interesting. Obviously, it's more of an Asian release, but it's also got English rules and whatnot. Then we got some decks. First of all, I got one from Poker Step 52. It's the Bicycle Cluck Entos deck. He is a guy who is kind of a masked magician. Not the masked magician who revealed magic tricks back in the 90s, but a different match magician. I forget what his real name is, as it say. All I know is it's designed by Zon Souls Beyond and put up by Magic Zoom Entertainment. And it's, uh, it's a marked deck. It's pretty interesting. Then we have the Jet Setter decks in black. This is a standard one, but I also got the limited edition one with four on the cards. I got 185 out of a thousand. I also got 184 because Paul sent me an extra of each one, so thank you very much for that. As always, if you appreciate it, there's also a nice big sticker and a little card here with an autograph. My boy, the best. <laughs> then there's one more deck in here. It is the Bicycle Harry Houdini deck from Collectible Point Cards. It's nice, fairly customized, it's got a weathered look to it. I don't think it's marked, but there is several gaffs in this deck. It also came with some extra cards, the extra one from this deck. You can see the bat design there and the faces. Nice vintage look, sort of weathered anyways. And then I got one from the Bicycle final deck they put out a while back. And also one from their recent second edition Poker Dogs deck. It's an ad card for some reason. But yeah. And there's more. So I also got, I feel like I'm missing a game or something, but I also, no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, I also just got today this the Bicycle. Chili weather decks. These two I did not get because they had, it was extra money, a lot of extra money, a hundred bucks extra <laughs> to get them. It's a nice thick box they come in. And there is six of them. I forget what they all are, but you got chili weather. You got that one, which is like uh looks like lightning. This one is probably the chill one or something like that. This one is a blizzard one. This one, I believe, is like sandstorm or something like that. And then there's this one. I think this is it. The icy one, actually. I can't recall. And the, I think it's tornado one. But yeah, pretty interesting. The other ones are limited. I think they're obviously a bit more harder to find more limited. And they have like uh, glow in the dark inks 
Yeah, you completely custom everything. I'll do obvious. Obviously, I'll do a review in the near future. Actually, it's going to be three reviews is what I'm planning to do. Two, it's going to be, you know, two decks in one review. So, three reviews. Double the fun. <laughs> I believe that is it for this week. <clears throat> Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'm trying to think if the bicycle invoked came on this past weekend or if it was the weekend before. I also got that one. <laughs> I'm fairly certain I showed you this one last week, but if I didn't, there it is. This is from Kickstarter from, or is it invoked cards and magic and cards? Pretty sure I saw you this one already. I even. Pretty sure I ever did a review for it. There it is, bonus. Showing you the one, that one again. And I think, I think, that was it aside from the fact that I got a replacement card for a game that I have somewhere, which is um, Bandata. A replacement card because there's one card that was fudged in the game originally. But yeah, that is that. Comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.